as you get towards very tall or very short, then it's a lot less likely, uh, there's a lot less people that fall into that uh, category. So it has that distribution that that is kind of a bell-shaped type of distribution. Also, people already have kind of a sense of what the height distribution should look like just from observing uh, people. So you kind of have an idea of what you expect to be happening. And then when you when you run the testing, you can you can kind of see that in your mind. However, note that, of course, with many other kind of tests that we, we might run, we might have different distributions of the data and we might have no idea what the effective, uh, you know, what what the what the results will look like. We might be testing something that we have no idea, uh, but it's good to start with kind of height. So we could potentially select a small number of men whose heights seem to reflect the heights of all men. So you might say, hey, look, if I was to take a sample, the question, of course, will then be, how am I going to take a sample of men? I can't test all men in the population to see what the average height of, of men are. But what I could do is take a sample. Well, how am I going to take the sample? Well, I have. you might say I have an idea in my mind of basically how tall people are. So why don't I just choose in my sample men that I think look about average and then I'll, and then I'll select men that have uh, a distribution that I think is about right that mirrors the actual distribution and then it'll be easy for me to pick my sample. However, uh, we're starting with a lack of knowledge about the overall distribution of heights across the entire population of adults. So the, the problem with that, of course, is you, you're assuming that you know the answer <laughs> To, what, to the problem that you're trying to solve, right? So you can't, so if we, if we already knew the answer of the middle height, then of course, picking a sample would be easy. It would also be defeating the point because we would just simply be picking a sample that ties out to the actual height. And this seems like kind of obvious. However, uh, you'll, this, this kind of thing happens sometimes, right? Because we start to think, well, if I'm gonna pick a sample, it would be better since I already have some knowledge about the sample. It would be easier if I just picked people that I know are kind of in the middle already. But clearly by doing that, then you're inserting your own bias into the sample. And that's so you're trying to help things out in that case, because you, you think you know something about the world and you're going to pick a sample that kind of reflects what you already know. But in doing that, then, of course, you're putting a bias into the sample and that's gonna you know, cause a problem. And if you're wrong about the assumption, then of course, what your bias in the, in the sample is gonna mess up the whole thing. So the whole point is then that you have to have some kind of randomness involved. So this is gonna be the key for the statistics. When we pick the sample, we have to have randomness. Now, sometimes you could have different kinds of picking uh, uh, that, that could be more complex than just simply total randomness, but there's always gonna be some format of randomness uh, in, a, in a sample whenever we're picking it because we don't we want to remove the biases when we pick the sample so we're going to have we're going to use the idea that we don't know we're going to say i i know i don't know right it's a tough thing to do i know i don't know i'm not going to try to help when i know